We must hurry to my father. This entrance allows me to come and go as I please. There are no guards or sentries here to hinder us. No! 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 I... <sighs> what is that little demon host doing now? We don't have time for this. The time has come, mortal. I won't share this shell anymore. I'll destroy you, Chaikar, and her mind as well, if I have to. You think your treachery will kill me, mortal? It will only set me back. As long as the corruption remains in this world, I will endure. I'll die, along with this stupid girl. Wahiyan wowo ir, funawi ir, nata wowo. Son sikun wan pifir, piyir, kut aku kawuk tiyir. Well, I'm glad to see you are back. What was all that about? I am glad to see that Wildflower appears well. It must have been a very disturbing experience. No more than our own if we don't get moving. Yes, while you were elsewhere, a servant tried to warn me against entering my own home. We need to confront my father as soon as possible. I must hear it from my father's mouth. I must hear how he explains all these lies, the golems, death's hand, all of it. You go ahead, but only take one other with you. The rest should guard the rear and only fight if needed. I do not want a full war within these sacred walls. I would prefer to be up front, but if not, I will catch up if there is anything important to say. Come, let's go. I can't believe we're actually inside the Emperor's palace. I must admit, I feel as though I'm trespassing, like I don't belong here. Perhaps the Emperor can give me some courage. I seem to have lost mine. What would you like? This palace. It's wondrous. I never thought a place like this could exist. But the Guardian. He says that something is wrong. It's not right. <laughs> I wish we could have visited the palace under better circumstances. I feel like an invader in the heart of my own land. Let's keep moving. I thought there'd be more half-dressed serving girls with bowls of wine and food. What kind of emperor doesn't have serving girls? Let's get going. Maybe he keeps the good stuff farther in. This is one of the many spires within the palace, where visitors are raised as if by the glory of the Empire. Without a guide, you could be lost here for days. We are nearly to the throne room. Although my father has let these unseen parts of the palace fall into disrepair, these chambers are the tombs of past leaders. We would be here for days, and you likely know the most prominent anyway. Sagacious Tian, the first emperor, founder of the Jade Empire, and builder of the Wall. Cormia, the Swift Arrow, defender of the First Age and commander of the Borderlands during the Horse Lord incursions. Sangsi, the Broken Bow, the first woman to rule openly. She changed more in a single valiant battle than many others did with entire campaigns. The latest tombs belong to the Emperor's brothers, Prince Sun Li and Sun Kin. 
You have caused me to doubt this, but here they are for your own eyes to see. That is what you said he told you, but here is the tomb of the glorious strategist before you. Is this all a lie? No, they have been sealed for 20 years. I don't have any more proof than what was announced to the people. I don't know what that is worth anymore. And your next question will be, what is in there if the brothers aren't? I can't say, but my father will explain everything. He has to. But your conviction is disturbing. I will definitely bring this up with my father when we confront him. We are close to the throne room. The longer we take, the more questions I have. Here it is. The entrance to my father's throne room. I doubt he'll take this intrusion kindly, especially not with... With the information we've learned. I promised you I wouldn't be a distraction, but I have to say something. You're going to rescue Master Lee. I know you'll find a way, but still. You've been the best of companions, and I've come to value that in ways I didn't expect. You're not like anyone else. You fight like a demon, and yet you value honor and harmony. So many people would abuse your skills. What can I say? Your company brings out the best in me. Look, I'm trying to tell you that before you go, I want you to be careful. Well, no. I just... Look, you can't afford to be distracted in there. You go, you win, and we'll deal with this later, I promise. Thank you. Whatever happens in there, I'll be there for you when this is all over. We should get going. Don't worry about me. I'm just a tongue-tied fool today. Let's go. If you two are through, we must find your master, and... and the truth of what has been happening in the Empire. I can only hope that my father has been the victim in this. I pray he has the answers I seek. The fate of the Empire depends on it. Twenty years, Lee. I have waited long enough. Atone for your treachery and give me what I require. Look to yourself, brother. You would have done the same. I am the eldest, and therefore the Emperor. I have you at a disadvantage, and yet you toy with me. What do you know, glorious strategist? Where is the spirit monk amulet? You will find out soon enough, brother. Father! Child? What are you doing here? I have important matters. And what have you done to yourself? You look like a common street woman. And who is this? You invite filth into the halls of my palace? This is not how the child of the Emperor should act. Don't lecture me! Master Lee's student brought me evidence from the Lotus Assassin Fortress. You allowed Death's Hand to corrupt the Empire! Master Lee's student... This child, the very person who tested my Lotus Assassins, brought to my doorstep by my own daughter, Brother Lee, did you plant the seeds for this fool to come here? Layers upon layers, always the glorious strategist. I am the Emperor. I am the heart of the Empire. Death's hand is a diversion. He is Death's hand. My hand.
I don't blame you for your foolishness. What can you possibly know? The Emperor is the manifestation of divine power. That is your role as figurehead. How could you betray the people? Your greed has unsettled the whole of the Empire. The dead no longer sleep. My child, remember your place. I have no patience for anyone that challenges my authority, not even you. Kill the rest. They are unimportant. No! I won't let you disgrace the Empire! Enough! I am God, Emperor Sun! In my youth, I ruled dutifully. But nature does not respect titles. Withering drought, not battle, threatened to take my throne. But I would not allow it. I assaulted the underworld and claimed the great water dragon. And neither the treachery of my siblings nor my failing body could stop me. I am no longer a slave to time's decay. My actions have brought the Empire great strength and its Emperor endless power. Who among you would dare challenge my right to rule? That glow. Brother Lee hid the amulet in plain sight and acted as his own diversion, just as death's hand diverted attention from me. The obvious threat hid the insidious one. Do you even know what you hold, child? What truly led you here? But who has set you on this path, and why? Do you blindly follow your master's mantra? Is anything ever so obvious? You were guided to me. What did Lee tell you? That I murdered your people and caused the restless dead? Side effects. Afterthoughts. This is about power. And I will add yours to what I have stolen. Even if you are impervious to my sorcery, it changes nothing. I am a god. Come, student of Lee. Your quest for death is at an end. What is this? Weaklings, all of you! Your defiance grows tiresome, student of Lee. You must learn your place in the order of things. Can you not dispose of one defiant peasant? Very well. I will face you myself, no matter your destiny. You will fall here today! This cannot be! I am Emperor's son! I am a god! Everything has gone as it should.
I'm sure there is, my student. Your abilities have grown immensely, but it also does my heart good to see that you have remembered the basics of what I taught. Even the flesh. Death has come to you, but life can be regained. I will guide you through madness to the light. Follow the pillar of light. You have done well, mortal, but your journey is far from over. Time grows short and we must act quickly if we are to stop your Master Lee. Your master, Sun Li, the glorious strategist, betrayed you. He killed you to claim the power of the Emperor, my power, as his own. You are dead. I am the Water Dragon, immortal guardian of the path to the Underworld. I shepherd the dead, leading them to my holy temple in Dirge, the gateway to the afterlife. But 20 years ago, the Emperor and his brothers attacked Dirge. They burned my temple, slew my servants, and defiled my body so the Emperor could claim my power. When Emperor Sun Hai fell, I reclaimed some of my power, enough to call your spirit here. But now I am fading once more. Sun Li consumes my energy. Your former master has long desired power to impose his will on the Empire. His plan took years to form, but the prize was too grand to let go to waste on his brother's madness. He consumes my essence to become a god but he does not yet fully control his power. That is why I could bring you here, and why we can speak now. Ah! Oh. My strength wanes. We must act quickly. For you to fulfill your destiny, I must send you to Dirge now, while Sun Li struggles to control his newfound power. The glorious strategist knows patience. Lee has planned this for 20 years. When Dirge fell, he rescued you only because he believed you were a tool he could use. You will learn this and more, but we must move quickly. When he discovers what I have done, he will try to seal this realm and prevent me from sending you to Dirge. My temple at Dirge is defiled. I do not have the power to restore you to life. But I can send your spirit to Dirge, so you may cleanse the taint corrupting my holy sanctum. Ah! Hurry! If you restore the fountains of Dirge, I can restore you to life. If you do not, Master Lee will become unstoppable. Seek out Abbot Song. He will help you restore the fountains of Dirge. Restore my... Restore my power, and I will speak to you again. This... 
This cannot be. Is it really possible? I sense the mark of the water dragon upon you. You have returned! I am the spirit of Abbot Song, slain many years ago by the glorious strategist. Before my death, I was the head of the spirit monk order. Your order. I am. I was. But I only led them to defeat and destruction. I failed in my duty to protect the water dragon, a duty I would one day have passed to you. You are a spirit monk, born here in Dirge and cleansed in the sacred fountains. You were an infant the day the Emperor and Sun Li attacked our monastery. I tried to save you from the slaughter, only to lose you to Li when he ripped you from the arms of your dying guardian. I can only imagine what lies and distortions he told you about Dirge, your heritage, and his own role in events here. But now, you deserve to hear the truth. Thirty years ago, the long drought struck the land. For a decade, crops withered and died. Starving people across the Empire demanded that something be done. Despite his position, Emperor Sun Hai could not alter the natural order. He demanded that his brother, the glorious strategist, concoct a plan to rectify this insult. Through Sun Li's cunning, the armies of the Emperor laid siege to the gates of Dirge. They came to seize the Water Dragon's power and her life-giving waters. The soldiers of the Imperial Army swarmed over us, too many to count. My spirit monks fought bravely, but I knew the battle was lost. We were beaten. All around me, my fellow spirit monks were dying. I tried to hold the attackers at bay. Prince Kin attacked me, and then Master Li cut me down from behind. The Emperor ascended unopposed, but already Sun Li and Prince Kin plotted against him. The glorious strategist was not content to watch his brother come to power. Emperor Sun Hai, ruler of the Jade Empire, stepped beyond his station and slew the Water Dragon, claiming her power for his own. His brothers tried to strike him down, but they could not know he would be so strong. Infused with the Water Dragon's power, he was now unbelievably powerful. Sun Li escaped with his life, but he left his brother, Prince Kin, to suffer the Emperor's terrible vengeance. A spirit monk child still lived. He killed your guardian, claiming his identity. No longer a servant of the Emperor, Li abandoned his fearsome armor to become the master you thought you knew. If you and the Amnet were the key to defeating his brother, he might still claim that power. Li disappeared with you and the Amulet, escaping the Emperor's retribution. With his newfound power, the Emperor is a taunt to his traitorous brother, bound kin spirit to the armor Lee had left behind. And Death's hand was born. You were the last of the spirit monks. 
suddenly saw our attempt to save you as confirmation of your importance. He believed you were meant to restore what he helped steal. He trained you to be an instrument of vengeance, an agent to succeed where he and Prince Kin had failed. But with your death, the Emperor is now invincible. Then the glorious strategist has won. You were the last of the spirit monks, but now you are just a ghost like the rest of us. No one is left to oppose Sun Li. You spoke with the water dragon? Of course! Only she could guide your spirit to Dirge, while all others must wander the mortal world. I worried that our last hope had died with you, but now I see you have come to restore the Fountains of Dirge. The first step in restoring the Water Dragon herself. As leader of the Spirit Monks in life, I am bound by honor and duty to aid you in this task. I swear, I will not abandon you until the Fountains of Dirge are restored. I can guide you here in Dirge, this lost home of yours. I know the monastery well, and will do everything in my power to help you restore the fountains. The fountains were tainted with human blood, which shattered their seals. The blood that stained them is gone. Replacing the seals should restore them. I know the monastery well. If there are questions you wish to ask in your quest to restore the fountains, I will do my best to answer them. Only that you should do as the Water Dragon asked, and try to restore the fountains of Dirge. The amulet is an artifact of great power, though few truly understand its nature. What do you wish to know? The amulet is a powerful tool, but it is only a tool. When you were first learning to unleash the power within you, the amulet helped you to focus your mind and energy. But you are a spirit monk. The power of the water dragon was always in you, not in the amulet. Now, you are strong enough to draw on that power without the amulet. It is a tool and a focus. It allows you to understand the power you can wield, and to use the essence gems that so many discount as trinkets. We alone can draw on more than one gem at a time. You can do this, even without the physical amulet, now that you know your true nature. You no longer need the amulet, but Lee has a use for it. Lee's brother, Sun Hai, consumed the Water Dragon's power, but without the amulet, it was a long and slow process. Even after 20 years, he was not strong enough to defeat you. Had the Lotus Assassins brought him enough pieces of the amulet, he would have been far more powerful. But Sun Li has the amulet, making him far more dangerous. With it, he can draw on the Water Dragon's power much faster. Unless you stop him soon, he will become invincible. I did not want the amulet to fall into the hands of our enemy. When I realized the battle was lost, I shattered it into several pieces. I gave the pieces to my apprentices and told them to flee to the farthest reaches of the Empire. The core of the amulet was given to the young monk who fled with you. 
I knew the core alone would be enough for you to start discovering your true power. But anyone else would need to find all the pieces to use the amulet. I will do my best to answer whatever questions you might have. I would be honored to help you learn more about our order and your legacy. Many of our order were brought to us as children, orphans we raised to serve our great mistress. But a few children are born here at the monastery. Both your mother and father were spirit monks. And you were born right here in Dirge, and bathed in the sacred fountains, mere days before we were destroyed. Both your mother and father died in the attack, along with the rest of us who served the Water Dragon. They were good people. Their love for each other was matched only by their devotion to the Water Dragon herself. Had they survived, you would have been raised here in Dirge. They would have instructed you from birth in the duties of a spirit monk. It is a tragedy you never knew them. We served the Water Dragon as her guardians and protectors. We saw to the needs of her physical form, maintained Dirge, and honored her with worship and prayer. We also served as shepherds for the dead. Most spirits came to Dirge in time, but sometimes a spirit was unable or unwilling to leave the mortal world behind. We would seek out these lost spirits. Those with unfinished business or those who had suffered traumatic deaths would need our help to reach Dirge. But now that the Water Dragon is gone, None of the spirits can find their way to Dirge, and those already here are trapped. The portal to the afterlife is sealed. Dirge is a place between. It exists in both the mortal world and the spirit realm, and it leads to the underworld itself. It is a bridge between life and death. Once it was a holy place, but now it is defiled. Dirge has become a place of great evil and corruption, a corruption that has been growing for the past 20 years. You are probably right. We must restore the Water Dragon's power before Sun Li gains full command of her powers. You have nothing to fear here. Though many dangerous beings dwell in Dirge, these monks and soldiers cannot harm you. The monks and soldiers who fell during the battle are trapped here in Dirge. Caught in a never-ending war, they fight, they fall, only to rise and fall again. Lee cut me down on the steps of the temple. My body fell, and my spirit rose. Powerless, I fled toward the outer courtyard, while the battle still raged. I wanted to see if you had escaped. Instead, I saw Lee take you, and I found myself trapped out here. The Emperor had sealed the gates behind me. My spirit cannot leave, Dirk. None of the spirits here can leave. For twenty years, I have been trapped in the outer courtyard, unable to pass through the gates. My hope is that the restoration of the fountain will allow the gates to open. Perhaps inside we can find a way to restore Dirge and free my brethren from this curse. I cannot say what fate lies ahead, 
But after 20 years, your return gives me reason to hope once more. The guardian of this fountain is destroyed, and I weep for her. She was once one of our order, but lured by Lee's promises of wealth and power, she betrayed us. This thing is the corrupted spirit of Xiang Wu. During the attack, she and several other spirit monks betrayed us by tainting the holy fountains with human blood. Long before the attack, Lee sent spies to bribe some of our weaker members. When they tainted the fountains, the power sustaining us against the army vanished. After the battle, the Emperor executed Xian Wu and the others, and he used the power of the Water Dragon to bind their spirits to the fountains. Their crime was terrible, but they did not deserve this fate. They suffered endless torment from which they could never escape. Such is the power of the binding. The binding is a sacred ritual of the spirit monks. We can draw on the power of the water dragon to bind a spirit to us. It is one of our tools for shepherding the dead. Even before Dirge was befouled, there were ghosts in the world. Some spirits would become lost in their journey here, or refuse to let go of the mortal world and go mad. If we found one of these restless ghosts, we could bind it to us and bring it to Dirge. Then, we would release the spirit, so the water dragon could lead it into the afterlife. The binding is a great gift from the water dragon, if used properly. But the power can be abused. The emperor bound the traitors not to himself, but to a place. A spirit can never escape such a binding. It feels an inexorable pull, but it has nowhere to go. It feels a compulsion to obey, but is never given a command. The spirit twists and corrupts, and in its agony it goes mad. Binding a spirit to a place is a terrible crime for our order. The only thing worse is binding a living creature. Binding the living condemns them to a fate worse than death. It forces the subject to obey and robs them of their free will. As a spirit monk, you must never do such a thing. The ability to bind spirits comes from the essence of the water dragon inside you. You may not have the power now, but one day you will be able to call upon it when needed. But this is not the time for lessons or instruction. The Guardian is dead, but you must place the seal on the fountain for it to be fully restored. fountain is restored, and the gates to the inner courtyard have opened. The first fountain has been restored. You have done well. Great mistress, it is heaven itself to see you again. I have been so, so lost without your wisdom. I have left you without my guidance for far too long, Abbot Song. But I could not speak with you. My strength was consumed, contacting the last of the Order. You are the last. There is no one else that can do what you are destined to do. 
I had to conserve and prepare. I did not know the exact day you would cross to this realm. The glorious strategist laid his plans carefully. The only thing he could not account for was my intervention in the instant after the Emperor's death, before he took my power. You were doomed long before I or my abbot entered your company. Had you deviated from Sun Li's plan, he would have ended his experiment at a time I was still helpless. Li is consuming my power, drawing it through the amulet he stole when he betrayed you. You must restore the next fountain before it is too late. He is corrupting its nature. Fortunately, you now see that as a spirit monk, essence gems will serve you without it. The amulet is a pathway, not a source of power. The amulet trains you to access what is already present, something Sun Li misunderstood. However, as a focus, it still allows him to take my power much faster than his brother did. Let the wisdom of the abbot guide you if you need aid. Restore the second fountain, and I will speak to you again, if I am able. I sense my former student refuses to rest easy. The time for subtlety is past. You are too valuable to abandon a second time. Come, we must return to Dirge.